Hey guys, how are you today? So on Unreal Engine forum, this guy asked about the mesh render array. So what do you want? I just made seven static meshes and add mesh render array. So I want them work when they are spawn increase mesh index one, index zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and again. So what I am seeing here, I think what he wants, let me just, if he wants that. So like, he has six mesh and every mesh has a ID. So like one, two, three, four, five, six. And it has different mesh. So it has the triangle, then it has a sphere, it has a box, it has slender, and it has star, and it has anything like a chair. Okay. So I think he wants when he spawn particle. So first time, all particles should have triangle. Second time when it is spawn, it should have a sphere. Then third time cube. So like a serial wise. So it has this thing ID. So I think he is asking about. So let's check. So if I make a Niagara, and I'll take fountain fx mesh render array and let's save open this and yeah so basically let's delete all these things and i have nothing here so if i take a mesh uh, spawn burst i have one particle and i'll make the loop 0.5 and the life also 0.5 so every 0.5 second my particle will spawn because of the loop duration single particle then every 0.5 second it will die so after 0.5 second it will change okay so if i make this like red and make hue saturation like minus uh, like zero to one so every time it will spawn very different color because every 0.5 second we have a new particle so he wants every time when this particle change the color we should have a different mesh okay so let's take a mesh render and it has already this gizmo you can see let's turn off the sprite render and let's add more meshes here so this is the id index 0 index 1 if i add one more two three four so first we have already this arrow in second let's i'll use this rocket and in third let's use this cube in fourth i will use this skull and in five i will use maybe this thing Okay, so we have different meshes and we have five meshes. So you can see this mesh is visible, but all the four mesh is not visible. So here in the initial particle, if you see this mesh render mesh setting here, so we have this mesh render array. If we set it direct and choose the mesh render we have, so if you have multiple, you will see a list here, then you can choose from them. So when you choose this and let it compile, okay, share is compiling. It happens sometime. So it's, it's still showing that one. So if you want to see the rocket, which has the ID one. So if I make this, oops, this, yeah make this mesh render index one we will have rocket if i make it two we will have cube at three we have a skull at four we have this gate and if i make five it will revert to this thing okay so he wants every time it is formed because every 0.5 second we have a new particle but mesh is not changing so basically you can just simply connect your loop so 
every 0.5 second we will have a different dash so basically because this is infinitely happening so if you have this uh, once or you have this multiple and we have total five meshes if i make this five so let's make this little big timeline okay so it's repeating all but if you want to just repeat the four meshes till the skull you don't want that gate so you can reduce this thing to four now we will have a skull then back to arrow this is skipping that gate okay and there's also uh let's make this infinite again there's also some option here like you can use randomize so in the randomize it will randomize the particle but it can repeat the same twice and this will be not sequential so maybe it can show you two times cube then third time rocket then again cube it can skip one for a time you can see okay but if you use loop count here we make the direct and you can also randomize it like this it is the same thing and you can also connect the execution index but it will give you the same particle but if you have like multiple particles like you have five particles and you have a shape let's say sphere and in here if i just make this random so each particle will have different mesh but you can see some matches repeating two times or three times but instead of random if you take here and connect the execution index each particle will have different mesh so because we have five meshes and we have five particles if i increase that then it will repeat some particles again so i hope this is it it doesn't have much option it has this direct and random and indirect you can connect things like execution index like random like array lots of things you can do with it so i hope this is it this will be helpful for you thanks for watching keep learning bye bye